Good morning. In just six days' time, WordPress 5.9 will be released, and with WordPress 5.9 comes full site editing. And if you want to take advantage of all the shiny new features that full site editing brings, you're going to need a block based theme. So today, I'm going to tell you my top five free block based themes that you can start using next week. Without further ado, here are my top five free block themes for WordPress. So, Brixy by Frost 2022 and Tuve. I will put links in the description below to each of the downloads of each of these three themes. But I'm going to talk next about what they are, how they work, and I'll just explain a bit more about each theme. Block based themes let you design the entire website using the Gutenberg block editor. So your header, your footer, everything. And this site's running it here. So if I click on edit site at the top here, that opens up the Gutenberg editor where I can basically design the entire site. So you'll see here, I actually build my menus using Gutenberg. If you want to see more on how block editing works, with full site editing, I'll put a link to a video I've done here for you. But that's the concept of it. There are a few changes you will notice if you're using a block based theme, you'll notice you are missing your customize unless you're using a plugin like WooCommerce, and then you will see the customize op option up here. But all the customization happens in the block editor. There is a somewhat limited number of full site editing themes to choose from right now. But I expect that to dramatically increase over the next few months as 5.9 gets rolled out. If you want to keep track of all the full site editing themes that are being released on WordPress.org, just go to WordPress.org, click onto themes, then you click on feature filter, scroll down in the features section and you'll see a, a option here to click on full site editing, then just click apply filters and that's going to load all the full site editing themes for you. So I would gladly use any of these five themes. I think they're all beautiful in their own way. They're all light and fast because they're built for Gutenberg as well. But actually my personal favorite at the moment is Brixy for, for two reasons really. One is it's beautiful. I think it's really elegant. This is an example of it here. This is a demo site that they put together and it makes great use of the block editor, but it's got this lovely white space around it and really elegant palette and, and font set. And you'll see if I go to blog up here, it's got a really nice blog page with these posts. This is the post layout, really clean and elegant as well, which I personally like. So a lot of this is going to be down to your personal design preferences, what you're looking for. Obviously, we're using full site editing, so we can actually change pretty much everything on here anyway. But the preset stuff, I think, is really, really beautiful. It also comes with really great support for WooCommerce. So if you are looking to build an e-commerce store and you're looking for a full site editing theme, this would be a great choice. This is the standard shop page and this is the standard product page, which is, you know, from my testing, it's actually the nicest layout that you get from with a full site editing theme at the moment. This also works great with our WooBuilder Blocks plugin, so you can actually further customize these product pages using that if you want complete control over this layout. Brixy also comes with a really nice selection of block patterns. Block patterns are pre-designed layouts of Gutenberg block. You can access them from the block library by clicking on the plus sign, patterns, and then I would click on explore here because that will open them up in this nice modal where you get a proper view on them. All the Brixy ones actually have Brixy in front of them, so we can just click through these. And if you want any of these on your page, you literally click on it and it brings that pre-designed layout into your page. Let me just show you a few more here. They've got some really, really elegant ones. They're broken down into general, footer ones so if you want different footer layouts headers and then you've got some specific industry sector ones food travel wedding and fashion the final thing to look at with Brixy is the page templates that it comes with remember these are templates that you can edit using Gutenberg these will vary depending on your theme so it's just worth checking them out when you're analyzing different themes it comes with a whole bunch of these so it's great it gives you more flexibility so for example like the single post page you can edit that the front page uh, it has a special template for a right sidebar it has a blank page which is great because those are fantastic for landing pages and it's got some other ones down there as well. You can see them listed. It also comes with template parts. The, the obvious ones are really the, the header, the footer. It also comes with a header center. This is the buy theme, which again, I think is a really beautiful and elegant and simple theme. It has a different design aesthetic, but it's very, very pretty. This is a look at one of the post layouts. Again, you can see how it's got this nice, slightly different featured image over here. But again, it's very clean and simple. Very elegant palettes, very nice text. Let's look at the page templates that it comes with. So they're not as extensive as you get in the Brixie WordPress theme, but there's still enough there for you to customize your site. If minimalist design is your thing, then you should check out the Frost theme. I will put a link in the description to download this one. This is created by Brian Gardner, famous for creating beautiful themes in WordPress for years and years. This is his latest theme. Here's an example of it. This is a home page here. It's just really, really beautiful again. Fantastic use of fonts and white space. Very, very clean design. I absolutely love it. What it really majors on are block patterns. So if you go to the Frost website, they give you a whole set of examples of the block patterns that come with the Frost theme. Pre-designed layouts that you can click into your site. So here's a portfolio pattern. And it gives you these really nice, clean, 
seen examples of what these are going to look like. They are very minimalistic and very elegant and simple design, which I love. So again, this is subjective. You know, what kind of des designs do you actually like on your site? In terms of the page templates that it comes with, it comes with a whole bunch of page templates, customize your sites. It's good to see that there's a blank one in here because I think that's fantastic for creating landing pages. And it comes with these two simple uh, template parts. And of course, we have to include the 2022 theme, which is gonna be the default WordPress theme from next week. So it's gonna be enormously used throughout the internet. This is what it looks like as a sort of default layout. It's very, again, it's very clean, very elegant. This is a post layout. Again, we major on the white space, super beautiful, very, very customizable. If you want to see more on how this one works, I've actually done a full tutorial on Just 2022. I'll put a link to it here for you. What it really majors on as well is the block patterns. So these are some of the block patterns that come with 2022. There's some really beautiful stuff in here, actually. So you've got this, these featured ones up here, which kind of picks out some of the best ones. But then you've got them by category down here, your footers, your headers here. That's kind of cool, isn't it? query which is things like bringing your posts for you so you've got different post layouts you can use let's just show you a few more block patterns we've got buttons here that's kind of beautiful as well a lot of time and effort has gone into creating some really really elegant block patterns quick look at the page templates that come with 2022 some highlights here are actually the 404 page but you've also got the ability to kind of customize your search results page which is kind of exciting as well so it'll be interesting to see what people do with that and for the final theme i wanted to show you something quite different this is the two theme which is actually designed for sort of restaurants and cafes but i think you could use it for any kind of site really so it's a very very different design some of you will love this some of you will not love this for sure I personally think it's really, really interesting. This is what it looks like. This is the actual theme, a demo of the theme. So I really love the kind of quirky style and the elegant colors. I think it's kind of cool and different and funky, very different. So it's great to see things like this being produced. This is what we want to see more of, in my opinion. This is the a sort of menu layout. And what's cool with it, it comes with a specific block pattern. So these are some of the block patterns that it comes with. And you'll see there's some specific ones for restaurants or for cafes. So you've got like a menu layout here. You just click on that and it brings the menu in. Of course, it's Gutenberg, so you can edit everything on here as well. And then finally, just to look at the templates that it comes with. So it comes with quite a simple set of templates, which I'm absolutely perfectly fine with for a theme like this. And your standard header parts of header and footer. So there we go. There's my top five free block-based themes. Just remember, we are right at the start of this journey. So there is going to be an influx for sure of block-based themes being released this year. So keep your eye on the wordpress.org theme directory. I hope you found that useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button now, that'd be fantastic because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, as you may know, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>